If you have not listened to this week's Monday Minnesota, it's called We Have the Royalty. Mm. You need to go back and listen. To, you need to go back and listen mm. to it because it was dope. The mics are blood clot open. Check, check, check. Select accent for the podcast. <laughs> Calvin, Calvin always late. Welcome back to I don't know how to do it. It's the mic. <laughs> it's simple. We simplified. It's, it's the, the mics, mics are open. open. Episode one seventy six. Is one seventy six? Is it? It's I the next so. episode. The next yeah. episode. Oh. Doctor Dre. Yeah. 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 What going, guys? Easy. My name is Andy Young. Oh yeah, G buddy. <laughs> Money is too excited. <laughs> Ashley. To I'm ready. Wow. Ashley's wow. back. Shout out to all the Premier gang who are, who are watching us right now. Fam, the most important thing to talk about to start with. Shout, look at this shirt, dog. That's a nice big shirt. Bro. If you are not watching, please go to YouTube and check out my shirt. I love this shirt. Oh, I didn't even see the words. The, the Notorious B.I.G. is on it too. Notorious B.I.G. Notorious. I see go. how much you hit Tupac, but it's high. Yeah, but it's fine. Oh, it was, what is it? What is it? The, 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 20, the 26th Tupac anniversary the other day? Yeah. So, so let, me, let me describe the shirt. It's got loads of little pictures of the Notorious B.I.G. on it all over it. I like it. And if you go to the ad, Calvin... Mm. Oh, I think that's not a ready to die t shirt. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's not to die for. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> right. what the fuck is going on with you? Why are you even wearing pink shoes? Because, fam, let me tell you something. Is he on like, the- I've seen you've coordinated, so G's wearing like uh, bluish Air Force Ones. Yeah, uh, no, no, I, Air Maxes. Air, Air Maxes. Bro, Air Maxes, bro. Air Maxes, Limited yeah. Edition, bro. Yeah, but why are they pink? Are you matching with them? Okay, cool. I'll give you 10 points for I color coordination. Pink as well. Yeah. Um, listen, <laughs> as, as he goes, I had to criticize G's pink shoes. <laughs> listen, <laughs> let me tell you something. By the way, by the way, let me tell you, let me tell you, I won't even, like, I've got a whole wardrobe of loud shirts just for the podcast. Uh-huh. I love yeah, it. Yeah, because, like, you know when I watch it back, when I, watch, when I wear, like, bright colors, I pop. <laughs> no, no, they say you Stand are what out. you wear. Yeah. You are what you wear, so go you. Also, so when I, wear, when I wear black colors, it just feels like, but if you say, I really, no, no. Hey, we love black. Uh, but you know what? <laughs> but you know, those <laughs> reds. But you know, <laughs> here's the thing, here's the thing, I actually agree. Listen, if you'd have worn your dull colors against our new background, you'd have looked In our new hideous. studio. You'd have been like blacked out. By like guys would be like, what's happening by that corner? By the way, actually, that's actually a great seg. For those of you who are also listening to this podcast, you need to go to YouTube to see our brand new purpose, state of the art, fully dope with a plant that can't die. die. Is that, oh yeah, I was yeah. about to ask, motherfucking fake plant. It can't die. Well, no. bro, let me tell you, let me tell you, okay. It's not fake. It might be a bit fake, but guess what? Ah, I just said it's not fake. It's, oh, it's not, oh it shit, is. it is? Yeah. Well, it's the only fake shit on set. Because we're real. <laughs> As Panda takes offense. <laughs> oh, wow. even Panda's back. Oh, mm. Panda. But yo man, the studio looks dope. Yeah, What man. is this? Was this your attempt at painting? I, I, I think that's a nice piece. Really abstract. Very eh? abstract, yeah. Yeah. I didn't... Listen, listen. Who picked, who picked this? Wait, guys. You guys. know how on the mini you said you weren't doing anything last weekend? Maybe you were making this masterpiece. Guys, 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 guys. Why are you acting up? We got an interior designer to do it. Yeah, but... See, oh, there's wait, a wait, painter nice, behind nice. this. Huh? You can own your art. No, I didn't paint that. I Shout think going out to Four Leaf Interior Designs who came and designed... Mm. the studio nice and did it free plug for them follow them on instagram nice. four leaf it's got like a green leaf and like a four leaf clover i think i think we should do like a you know like how the mics you've been for that right paint and oh, sip oh, we yeah. should do like a paint and, and whatever speaking about paint and sip let's get this out of the way as well um shout out oh, to yeah. some of our guys who are artists who have sent us some oh, digital yeah. pictures right? of ourselves which we're gonna mount up in the studio. And uh, this is another reason for you to go run up the numbers yeah. on YouTube. Oh, there's a special folder from for Nazareth. me. Oh, cute. So who's it, this from? Nazareth, oh, wow, Nazareth okay. Tafari. Okay, so let's hold yeah. them up to the to the camera. EM97 on IG. Oh. Hold on, hold mm. on one at a time. Are you seeing them nicely, Byron? This is a picture of all of us, digital art. Yeah. We appreciate you, that's dope. I love it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put them up in the studio. Like, we're going to get them framed up and put in the studio. You might want to go to YouTube. If you're listening to us, just imagine some colorful digital art. Ashley, how's your one? I like it. 
Speak to, to the, the mic. I like it to the detail. I, I even have my little nose ring. You know, I'm you a know, beauty spot. Um, when, when I saw this, I went back to that question we usually ask ourselves. When people are looking at you on Instagram or maybe on Twitter or whatever, what's that one photo they go to? Like, mm-hmm. yo, have you seen this guy? And funny Sorry, enough, mm. this was a story. It wasn't, it's not even on my, on my, what is it called? It's on a whole paper also. Calvin, maybe he can got you your hold phone. Some so, of that's dope. <laughs> we like it. I like it too, yeah. honey. Yeah. So, so you, know, I, you know what I love about Straight it? to the mm. camera. It's big C. To the ah. camera, to the camera, to the camera. <laughs> Yo, Nazareth Tafari. This is amazing Nazareth work. Tafari. Yeah. This is some good work. This is he on IG? Yeah, EM97Arts. I think EM97 I'm just going to... I think I'm going to give this to my mom. There she you needs go. This, so definitely. thank you very much. We appreciate you. Mm-hmm. Yo, look and, uh, at Andy, man. Nice. Andy's one looks dope. So I'm to the yeah. camera. Yeah. 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 Plus yeah. the merch. Check Don't out the merch. Don't show mine. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> why y'all gonna why y'all gonna do me like that? Yo, so, G, so G looks <laughs> like G looks like why are you about to cry? <laughs> G, what, what was going on like, there? Like, bro? like, like I said no, everyone, again. Everyone, oh. everyone else got a dope one, like why 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 y'all gonna do me like that? At least you got options huh? though. Oh, that was hilarious. Look, he's smiling oh. here though. <laughs> I don't looks like, like he's been forced to smile. <laughs> there you go. All right, let's start the podcast All right. again. All right, cool. Big Here. story. We have a new government. <sighs> let's clear up the set. Venon, can you help us clear up the set, please? Um, we have a new government. Yes, a new admin. President William Samoy Ruto. I'm yeah, here. and he's I'm here for it, mm-hmm. man. Um, like Prince Harry. What about <laughs> yeah, what is the what is the pre- yeah, King yeah, King Charles Venon clears up the set and thanks thanks Venon thanks, thanks very much bro man um <laughs> it's been an interesting one we have a new president mm-hmm. uh Uhuru Kenyatta gone I'm yeah. gonna miss him you're gonna miss I'm, I think we're all we're, listen everyone's happy but we're all gonna miss elements of of yeah, of, yeah, yeah, of, yeah. Of, of like for me I miss Kibaki's humor yeah, mm. yeah. and yeah. you know. You know, buff. You know, all yeah, of those, those ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, the insults. Yeah. Like, no. like, like, Kibaki was such a what do you call it? He was just that old, respectable yes. man. There's nothing he could do that was wrong. Yeah, mm. exactly. You get you yeah. this him, but yeah. your wife though. Oh, Yo, the, uh, the late man. She was. She was. She was. You know. She was hard. She was yeah. fire. Yeah, fire. But from was, Yeri from, as well. From day one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she was straight one. from the yeah. jump. Yeah. Yeah. Then we had Uhuru, the most memeable president ever. Love yeah, it. Meme, that's what I miss now. I yeah. miss the memes. Like, like, like you have Rikiji. Rikiji is taking yeah. over. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but but Uhuru, man, like in terms of like the memes he's given us, content for days. Also, he you was know, just a fun president. He like, really you know, was. You like, always get entertainment from him. It was vibes. I was, yeah, I, was talking, I, was, I was talking to my friend and uh, the mom was giving me a story of one time they'd gone, uh, he was actually driving them up to some place in Tigoni to check out like some hydroponics thing. <laughs> and Uhuru was like, guys, we got to go back early so that I can pass by Njugunas. Really? Yeah, true story. Yeah. And th- when they got to Njugunas, like guys weren't even expecting him, right? Mm. So a man just pulls up. You know how Njugunas is? There's like a couple yes. of flies and you're like, bro, this homie, brown, raised, right. Straight right. Ha- state house, what, what, what. My man was like, I don't give a shit. Like, let me just eat. Some meat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. About. Eat and, you know, just the flies. You know, he's that kind of guy. Yeah. But then again, if you think about the, the life he's had, mm. so that's the kind of life you'd want. Yeah. Right? I mean, end of the day, like, no matter what anyone says about about Uhuru, end of the day, he's never going to need anything. Mm, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's never going to want for anything. Like, end of mm. the day, you know, he's even got a new job. Yeah. Ruto <laughs> gave him a job, which he graciously accepted mm. to go and help st- stabilize peace in the, in the region. And stuff. Yeah, that's good. I mean, that's what drinks are brought. I, I always kind of feel sorry for politicians when they leave office. Because it's like, I mean, in the sense that, can you imagine that? That one day you're the most powerful person in the country, and the next day you're taking an Uber home from Kasarani. <laughs> maybe they, maybe they can't wait for that, bro. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, actually. like yo, I can't wait for this thing to be over, man. Just nah. to resume to my bro. Let life. me tell you. Let me tell you. Me. Uh, yeah, I see your point. Do you G. get it? That's but what, that's why Museveni can't leave. Museveni is bro He's since eighty four. Power though. Since eighty four. He loves bro. It. Like he has inaugurated all the presidents. <laughs> that's true. More or less, he's Crazy. been in touch. We get like three living presidents. Moi, Kibaki, Uhuru, and Naruto. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. Kibaki? Because Moi, 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 
became president in 78 moy right but he found oh, him so he found so after, hence interacted mm-hmm. right but inaugurated three presidents mm. bro that shit is crazy but i'm saying but i'm saying it's it's, the, it's why it's why people hold up this the politics fam imagine that power like yeah. you saw yeah. all right take for example it's like people talk about the monarchy and the queen dying and prince charles all these things can you imagine like i mean it's hard for us to even imagine the scale mm. of that power as in you bro. like as in let's like this is how powerful you are fam let's just say your cousin got robbed in ruaka Mm. You could shut Ruaka down, bro. Like, yeah. you Why can you? cuff you, dusk you down. <laughs> you can shut until it down. Until we find the thieves. <laughs> until, until we find Surrender. That but you know. Bro, that's power, bro. Bro, like, let me tell you, first hand, I get what G's saying, and now I understand it. Mm. Bro, being in State House for the inauguration, you could feel the power. Right, literally from the entrance, the security procedures to just the grounds, everything. Fam, at one point, uh, we wanted to go back up to get like a cable right. from the car. Bro, security is like uh, the president just left, Kasarani, literally, mm. right? Security was like, you can't cross over the tarmac. Wow. We're like, what the fuck do you mean you can't cross over? He's like, we shall tell you when to. We were all there, chilling, waiting, waiting for the president. Bro, he came through. Woo, woo. Like you can see the the, the cops, right? Mm. They're like this car pass. Like you think you're an MP, you're powerful. You're told, stop over there. Go, 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 go. Like the power is nuts, right? Mm. Then of course he comes in. Yo, imagine all of those guys at White House, at at, at State House. The MC says, "You niggas are not gonna eat until the president gets here." Fam. It's like four o'clock. Guys That's when he's getting there. No one can fucking eat. You guys are just on juice, water, juice, water until he gets there. Then after he starts eating, uh, before he's done, you guys can't leave. You can't leave while he's eating? Yeah, bro. Like there's a whole bunch of like no, different let protocols. Me ask, let me like, ask. Let me ask. If the president's eating at state house, you can't leave. Yeah, some shit so like that. Let me that. ask you. So, so. Because you would, so obviously by now, if you're watching this, Deep State Calvin wasn't joking <laughs> when he said that he yeah. lives around the corner from State House. <laughs> he was at um, uh, President Ruto's lunch mm. um, on yeah, the, the inauguration, or inauguration yeah. late. So yeah. let me ask you now. Mm. So you get to State House, because mm-hmm. I've never been, yeah, yeah. you know, all the time when they invited journalists and stuff, they mm. never invited us. <laughs> So, so <laughs> first and foremost, there's, <laughs> nothing, <laughs> there's nothing like a WhatsApp message. Yeah. You get it, a card. Uh-huh. And your card has a table that says this is the zoning. Does so it like, come to your pure box? No, 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 oh. no. Obviously, you're told collect. So your card, did your card have your name on it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it has your name and uh, it says what zone you're going to sit. And you know, th- by the way, this is important because us guys, most everyone watching, most people watching didn't get a chance to go to the State House inauguration of... Mm. of William Ruto. So I'm actually fascinated. You're mm. actually mm. telling us what it was like. Yeah. Mm. So there's a card, right? So there's a card and then it comes with a car pass, right? So if you've got a, 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 a white car pass, that's like regular. If yours is red, like that is proper, proper. Like you get super VIP parking, mm. what, what, what. Mm. But then uh, your table matters, right? So if you go in, there's like a zone A, which is like the main dais, which has all the powerful guys. Like when you go into an aircraft. Yeah, yeah. You're board, business. We, we are now boarding zone A. <coughs> yeah. Business mm-hmm. and priority people. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So then there's A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Damn. So it's all like, wow. Yeah, like that. So where your card, you could, you, could, you could be at C, but you never interacted with A. Wow. At all, at all. Because they've got like protocol officers. You walk in literally through the scans and everything. Mm. And um, what's security like? Bro, shit, <laughs> motherfucking GSU. Wow. Shit, From okay. the jump. Like you go in, the guys, they, they don't even fucking try and frisk you. They're just like, if you've got a gun and try. a knife, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My guys were like, if you've got a gun or a knife, let us know. So basically, it's like, Bro, if, if, if you have a gun, yeah, 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 yeah. Tell us. Then, because the, 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 you're just going through, like, you know, the scan. Mm-hmm. You, it's just, nah, 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 nah. if you have anything, they fine. will know. Yeah. Uh, if you've got a card that's handwritten, <laughs> get the fuck out. Damn. What do you mean? There's no card. Your card it's has printed. to be printed oh, with you, your name. You keep your card? 
Yeah, I've got you it at home. It yeah, yeah. Out. Yeah, so it has to be printed. Because here's the thing, I could just give you a card yeah. and you mm. just write your... So you have to have your card, your ID, or your passport to verify. Wow. This is you. Ask, okay. Right then, boom, you guys walk down all the way. Now you just now start to see this whole huge building, you know, mm. starts to make sense and everything. It was so crazy, bro. Like the VIPs, like actual VIPs. Mm. Fam, I was walking out at that point when I was going to like um, uh, get the cable. Bro, central bank governor passes me. Right. I'm like, oh, hey, 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 I need a loan, bro. <laughs> but like he was so humble. Like how you guys know he's actually very right, humble. Right, right. Most VIPs were just passing through that. My man took out his phone, put it on the side, walked through the scanner, and then picked his phone. He's walking alone. Mm. Just chill. But yo, it was- Let it me was, ask you, mm. like honestly, like, with our, we want the, the real thing. Yeah. How many road man was there? <laughs> like Bro. man from road cleaned up and was so, there. So don't mention names. Yeah. So now let me give you guys backstory, right? So my suit delivered everything what what what. Bro, me I was about to wear sneakers, right? Yeah. I even knew the pair I'm wearing. And my guys are like, bro, you have to wear shoes, shoes. shoes. So I finished the show yesterday. Mm. Boom, 9.30 real quick, junction. I'm like, bah, hush puppies, I want these shoes, right? Mm. Man, I'm buying shoes. Another guy checks in with fucking sandals. Those feet have never seen no pedicure. Yeah. He's like, I want shoes. So me, I'm looking at him. I'm like, it's a fucking public holiday. Why do you need leather shoes? I asked the guy, so where are you going? He's like, I need me to up a state house. I was like, <laughs> I was like really? I was wow. like, really? So My man bought shoes. socks. Wow. Yeah? You need like black or leather no, shoes No, you don't mm. really need to. But mm. me, I knew who I'm going to mm. meet and everything. So I was mm. like, yeah. But here's the thing. Bro, yesterday, and I'll give it to you 100%. No, you know, give it, it was day. It was everybody who's done business with the previous government. Mm. Right. You want to see how you can secure the business oh, with, wow. the the new government. with the new Coming. government. Right. So right. you're like, boom, let me be there to make sure right. who or who interact. Because mm. you don't know. There's a whole bunch of things that are about to change. Like right now, cabinet secretaries, as we record, and all of these guys who are appointed, they've cleared. Yeah. Mm. Right, right, right. You get So you have to like see mm. what going on. So all of the tenderpreneurs, who, what guys in private sector, it was packed. All right, but... but and look, and if, you, if you have a crush on a very hot babe off of the gram, all of those buddies were so there. Really? Wait, Bro. What's, what's the criteria of getting an invite? Invite. So, you, I mean, you got to know government guys, right? Oh, so, okay. like, this was, this was if, if, um, if I'm trying to, like, ask you out on a date or something and I've got an extra card, I'm just like, yo, <laughs> send me your name. I think you the inauguration yeah. that's the first date. Like, that shit is, that shit <laughs> yeah, is that's up. Deep that's deep state. That's Yeah, so, like, but, bro, you know how politicians roll? Mm. Yeah. This niggas is different. Right, they so were inviting guys mad. So, let me ask you, let me ask you, um... Mm. The, was the man of the moment there? Uh, the Ruto. No, Ricky C, man. Oh, Ricky C. <laughs> Ricky G. Ricky G. Pulled up later, man. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. But it, it was it was interesting. Of course, first time me in State House. Mm. Um, bro, that building is old. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Like it's old, old. Like you can see, you can see all of the white elements. The, the, the British element of it. But, that, but, but that's one thing that I kind of I found about even the whole inauguration mm. ceremony. It's very traditional, very ceremonial yeah. and stuff. Yeah. But it's also very British. Very. Like the very. military marching band. Like, is it possible mm. to Africanize an event like that? Like, what I do mean, you have in mind? Like, you, maybe you book Nashinsky, mm. Joakali. Yeah. So, like, even the, they had a DJ, by the way. Mm. They had a the DJ. I think he performed. Uh, mm. Nadia? Was it Nadia Mukami or something? Mm. Yeah, she mm. performed. Yeah, on uh, uh, Kasarani. At Kasarani, yeah. So, what I'm saying is, like, but, like, the marching bands and all that, can't we replace that with, like, I don't know. Hey, bro, I think, th I think that's more, like, because you know the ceremony mm. is more of a military thing. The military mm, right. were actually at hand, like, from last week, doing practice. They even had, like, guys the, the same weight and stature as mm. thingy. To act as right. the president and the former to do it all. It's a military yeah, thing. Yeah, but I'm thinking like end of the day, like Sawa, you see you've won the election, you're gonna be inaugurated. Uh, Isn't it time for us to have like a more I don't I'm know. I'm with you, I'm with you on like that. A yeah, more it's time, bro. African kind of vibe, yeah, like, like, yeah, like yeah. a Ruracho or whatever you call it. Ruracho oh, oh, is a long thing. Like but it, I get you. Yeah. But you see, like you have the white wedding, which is yeah, so yeah, European, yeah. but then you have the 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 the, the 
uh, traditional the wedding, yeah. Ones, yeah. yeah, which is more us, you know. Yeah, yeah. but I, I, I want to some some aunties. Oh, <laughs> you <laughs> you shit like that. <laughs> you relations. Yeah, yeah. You know, Funny, traditional yeah. dancing. You know, I got you. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 obvious we we're gonna talk uh, uh, quite a bit about um, the inauguration on the pod this week because it is the biggest event this week. Yeah. What do you feel about the way how Riggy C, Riggy B, Riggy G, Riggy G, 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 G laid into Uhuru though, bro? I At watched that and I was like, oh, so for those oh, who didn't oh. see, who didn't follow it, man, let me tell you, Riggy G showed Uhuru his, <laughs> I, will not, I can't say that because he's not deputy president, but yeah. he showed him his ass. <laughs> Trust bro. me, hey! Like that, that my man, my man was actually. He went in, bro. He I feel was, like he was, he was really was. waiting for that opportunity. It's like I've had this for so long. Let now that I'm in this position, like, 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 <laughs> let me give it to you. Like me and my salary <laughs> negotiations today. That was something. That was something, bro. But yo, anyway, let me tell you. Contract. Wow! <laughs> what guys. happens in the office stays, stays in, the office. in the office. But let me tell you guys this though. Um, so. G, we were texting about it in the morning. Um, Rigafi knows Uhuru very, very well. Mm. Mm. He used to be his PA, right? He used mm. to be his PA. Mm. Right? He understands the system very well. I Googled so, it after we spoke. Yeah. So here's the thing. Um, my man, like, honestly, guys, when you hear Ruto say, uh, the, if it wasn't for God, and, you know, I mean, you will say that. It's a Christian mm-hmm. country. But, bro, all the odds were actually stacked against them. Yeah. True, true, Yo, true. they were fought and fought and fought. On every level. On every level. And, you know, he, I'll give Rigathi one thing. He's been motherfucking consistent. Like, he's thrown shots at Uhuru, even on the campaign trail. But now, bro, I've just lifted the Bible. I am now deputy president. Imagine. You're, ma- you're the former. Former. Yeah. Bro, why not? <laughs> Bro, like, yo, after wow. that, when they were like shaking hands, Uhuru was like, You didn't see that minute. You didn't even <laughs> like, know if he should. Yeah. Okay, then they shook, then they all took a picture. I was like, Bro, me, I would. No, but like, honestly, and maybe it's just honestly, one of those woosa moments. Let me tell you, That's it's what like, I'm saying. He's it's been like, waiting for that. Yeah, moment. it's like you're in the he toilet, you just want to fucking blow, yeah. and then you're like, Oh, yeah, but, God I'm, damn. but I'm, 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 I'm gonna tell you guys this. And I don't know if it's 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 the it's it's the it's the Caribbean blood in me. There's no fucking way you're gonna chat about me like that on that stage and I'm shaking your hand. Really? What? So what are you gonna do? <laughs> Suck your mother! <laughs> bro, bro, no, no, sir, no, no, think about it. You don't no, even no, have no FDC now. Quality. No, listen, listen. Yeah. No, listen, mm. listen. If you're gonna tear into me like that mm. on the public stage, yeah. Fam, surrounded by dignitaries, to when, imagine, Museveni's been in charge for how many years? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For Museveni to be the voice of reason. That's true. To be like, don't pull me into your domestic. That's wild. That's Bro, wild. I am not shaking. Because people are going to say, oh my God, look, who didn't shake my man's hand? But what, you want me to insult me like that and then shake your hand, you're mad. I will shake your hand by force. You're going to have a two kill and Conte moment right here, bro. A two kill and Conte? Yeah, I'm staring into your eyes. <laughs> You'll shake my hand like a man, bro. Nah. You'll shake my hand like a man. Oh my I God. think I, I, I personally found... I, I, I was humiliated for Uhuru. No, but you know, here's the thing. Here's the thing. These no. are all politicians, yes, bro. Uhuru, Uhuru has thrown shots at them as well. But look, think about it, though. Think about it. When when Ryla didn't contest the last election, so there was none of this nonsense, yeah? The first one, even when when um, when um when they went in, they didn't shoot, no, they didn't, nobody was shooting shots at, like, Kibaki didn't turn around and say that you guys are this or blah, blah, mm. blah. But, like, but Kibaki or was like, Uhuru, away. The, or who didn't turn around and say, I mean, I know it was a project, yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah. But the point I'm trying to make is at the end of the day, like, have some decorum. Now, there's another school of thinking. When is the right time to do this for, you, for you to do it? Yeah. Because really doing it yes, uh, the day before yesterday, maximum effect. Yeah. He was making a, he was making a point. I think it was a statement. It was, right. it was, it was like, do you guys remember 2002? Moy sat to the, was it to the, Right, mm. he was to the right. Moi was to the right. Statesman that Moi was. Yeah, I think the closest example in terms of political mileage, or you know, as a political milestone, an equivalent would have been Kibaki 
or who was VP then? Wamalwa, mm. right? Mm. Saying what thing he did. Mm. But those were old guys, man. Mm. You know, like statesmen, well polished, nah. what, 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 buddies. Bro, the the one Ricky thing that happened to Moy was the chant of Yote was a kind of with with Bila Moy. Mm. That was whatever. Funny that didn't happen yesterday. Mm. I was I waiting for that. Because the thing about it is also when Uhuru arrived and when he was like doing all of the stuff and like, guys were cheering him. Yeah. Like guys were actually cheering him. Guys, guys like Uhuru. You know no. what I mean? They yeah. don't like what everything is has happened, yeah. but they are a person. It's respect. <laughs> like mm. the thing about it is generally, generally in Africa, we have respect for our elders. Yeah. Generally. So is it that Uhuru's too young? I don't know what happened, but, but anyway. man, anyway, it's, it's different. We have a new president in Kenya. If you're watching this from outside, but but you know what is crazy as we wrap, man, that whole thing about you can now call on call. You don't have to use WhatsApp. <laughs> no, we don't believe you. <laughs> we are still listening using to my everything. G. Like 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 even your, if I told my daughter that she'll be like, "Daddy, you lying." Mm, <laughs> mm-hmm. Like, how's the intelligence of this country gonna work? Hmm. But, hey, by the way, let me tell you, man. I don't care what no one says. Me, I'm still making some calls. On WhatsApp, 100%. What's up? Can be saying things on ordinary tea, tea. calls. Hello, <laughs> Regardi told us we can now I'm call. Gonna, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need your help on this tender. <laughs> no, no, no. Just put, make sure that my one is open first, eh? On on a regular call. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yo, man. Yo, man. We need to go. Yo, man. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need a hundred kgs of weed. But oh wow, yeah, at this party, same spot. To wrap up this, to wrap up this part of the pod, because you know we are, it's an important occasion. We've never experienced this on the pod. It's the True. first election, so it's to wrap up this part. What I will say, and I'll say this, I don't know if I can speak for everyone on the pod, but I'll speak on on my behalf. Is that guys, I truly want you guys to give Ruto a chance. Yeah, mm. and I say that because you have a choice. The choice you have is to either be mad for the next five years, stroke ten years, stroke twenty years, hey. or <laughs> Or, <laughs> or you have the responsibility to also try to help build the nation. So on behalf of us guys, it may not be the result that you wanted, you know? And end of the day, like, there's nothing that anyone can do to take away from all of the contributions that Baba has made um, to the country. I would just say, give the man a chance and hold him accountable because you do have your social media, your this, your that, all of the promises that, that were laid out there. Let's push for them to be done at all levels, from your MCA to your yeah. MP to everything. Let's keep guys, let's let's usher in a new period of politics in Kenya. That's on behalf of the mics are open. Agreed. Yeah, we are, we, are, we are the girl in this relationship. Fully agree. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Uh, um, Aseg, say uh, Uhuru, is a dad and uh-huh. i'm using this as uh, an example an analogy right he's a dad. and i know they are to just for the sake of the example mm. and he has one son mm-hmm. that and kenya or rather the job that he had say was his company or is his company mm-hmm. and he's gotten to that point where he now has to pass on this company from himself to someone else mm the son being an option Uh because i mean a father would be happy Uh if his kids or if his kid took over his Mm. business right we're having this conversation in studio today with a couple of of my colleagues now you as a powerful wealthy rich parent and everything you are able you have access and all of that and you have your kid with you who maybe is not inclined Mm -hmm. to doing what you you do Maybe the line of business, right? Mm. Maybe him, he's artistic and he wants to do the arts. Maybe he wants to be an artist, a DJ, mm. whatever. Are you living the life that you have lived mm. and you've seen how life has been for you? Say you've had the best of both worlds. Mm. You didn't have anything, now you have everything. Mm. With your son, are you going to allow him to do what he wants, study what he wants? Mm. Or are you going to... Try mold him. Yeah, mold him so that... Whenever or in the event that you are done with your business or mm. God forbid something bad happens to you, he can easily take over the company, whether or not he wanted to. That's actually a really good um, question. It's a good question. What do you guys think? I think, okay, you can't force anybody to do anything. Mm-hmm. And mm. when it gets to a point where you're actually forcing them to do it, mm. then one of two things might happen. 
your business might go under because they just don't pay that much attention to you know the nitty gritties as need to yeah. as as it, they need to yeah or same as the first literally i think that's the only thing that mm. can happen you can yeah. mold them mm -hmm. but at the same time give them the option of um declining. not yeah, yeah declining okay. the offer okay but also keep in mind that it's not only your children who can do that job sometimes mm. your, your children might mm. not even be suitable for that mm. particular right. job mm. you might find someone completely outside the family who fits perfectly and so actually a question let me pose this question to you it's a dilemma more or less mm. right mm. Say your dad owns a multi-billion dollar company mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that deals in leather or textile. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you love podcasting, you love media and everything. Yeah. And your dad is at that point where he wants to hand this company, which is his, mm -hmm. over to the next man. Mm. Now, are you telling me that you're going to let this multi-billion... Yeah. Right. Make me a director. I'm good. I think... Okay. I think... <laughs> yeah, or give me shares. Yeah, I, give I me think, shares. I'm mm. good. And I think... Um, that's a good that's a good analogy. I look at it this way. There are so many people, young people, who whose parents are super accomplished. Mm. I know I know I know a guy in Karen whose mom and dad they've put in the work. Like the house is palatial. There's seven cars on on the porch. And I've spoken about this this guy before, this kid before. Mm. Fam, he doesn't want any of it. See? Mm. He's just not like you, he's on a job. Jabs around and takes Ubers. Mm. He's just not interested. And like end of the day, and and as much as he's the only son as well, mm. right? Mm. And as much as like, as much as he sees around him, he doesn't see that as his as thing. his thing. Yeah. yeah. Now I think, and this is a very different perspective. I kind of think here yeah, that as guys who create businesses. We need to move towards making our businesses be able to function without us. Mm. You get me? Yeah. Because I can, I can, I can safeguard the future of my family and my generational wealth without my family having to run That's the company. Business, yeah. Mm. You see what I'm trying to say? So, yeah. so, say for example, it's like if you it look happens at a lot. if you look at something yeah. like say for example, um, this is examples of like Jenga Karome. Mm. From yeah. charcoal banner to thingy, mm -hmm. yeah. Jenga Karumi from charcoal banger ba ba ti banger banner to to <laughs> thingy, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to, to, to cabinet minister in the Moi government, mm. bro. He had like four wives or something. All of these kids, he could see that this bunch are gonna just flex, uh -huh. and everybody's gonna what 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 what. He went and created what is it like um not a charity like or, a something. Trust or something, a trust, mm. right? A lot of people do that when you see it, mm. bro. Me, if Jojo decides that he she wants to go fly cars and you know in the future and mm. stuff, mm. glorified driver, mm. so, so let her do that. I love what you said. Not everybody needs to work for you. Yeah. At times, yeah. it's like it's like look at the story of Gucci. Mm. Gucci the brand. Man or Gucci Gucci. Okay. Gucci Gucci, mm. the brand. Gucci made. He went, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He went to prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He went skinny. Yeah, like, like Gucci, the, yeah. the label, right? Mm. The original family mm. of Gucci actually has not a sh an ownership mm. because uh, they all had issues. They all fought with each other. Mm. It was this man, uh, the, the dad died. The dad didn't want that person. That person. Over, and this yeah. uncle, this, mm. this, uh, brother Politics. thought that the son wasn't good enough well, good he started yeah. siding with right, what right. bro and they were just with all of the the issues amongst them mm. some arabs came in and then sold it and what and yeah. you know it's it's so interesting so i think so I, yeah so i think i mean the key thing there is is that i mean first of all like when you're dead, you're just dead, isn't it? Like, mm. you don't really care about what happens. Taxes. Because you're dead. You know, you're dead. Dead men don't pay taxes. Don't pay taxes. Mm. But yeah. I mm. think at the end of the day, we need to 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 either, mm. we need to put our businesses and have the ambition to put our businesses in such a way that when we are no longer here, the businesses can continue. Yeah. And then, you see, I can always say in my will that as long as, as long as the business are functioning, whoever owns the business, they have to pay 
you 500 mm-hmm. or a million every year mm-hmm. as part of whatever you know mm-hmm. a, a handshake or whatever however you want to do it yeah and if i want to say guard my kids i'll make sure that they have enough equity and enough stake for them to yeah. receive that yeah. but if they don't want to do it man i, I mean end of the day my parents wanted me to go and do this and i traveled the world instead yeah you have to follow your own passion because we only pass this way once you know true yeah, and true. interestingly because mm. i was i'm of the same opinion uh the other colleague i was having this conversation with came from the school of thought of i understand the parents who maybe quote unquote for lack of better word force their kids to do something specific in mm. uni like go do law or go right. do business or go do this and then once you're done Come you can you can pursue anything else oh right 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 but as long as we have this on lock mm. as we are good but that's the problem like it, it's not going to be for the good of the children at the end of the day it's just a paper that they're gonna use and that's four years that you spent or if you're mm. doing law yes. being a doctor that's a good seven to six to seven years that you've wasted mm. and you're gonna be like okay cool i've lived my life for you let me mm. go here's live your, my life yeah, yeah. Degree, then it gives yeah. you also mm. such I'm, I'm, i mean there's no timeline to these things but mm-hmm. it gives you such a short time to try to live your life and at the True. same time try to figure out okay what am i mm. meant to do mm. because this whole time you've been doing something for someone else True. so it kind of it kind of messes up with your psyche as well True. because you, you've been living for someone else for so long mm. that you don't even know i know i don't want to do that but what do i really want to do but True. i feel i feel like we've answered this question from a very far angle which is amazing but in terms of like the granular bit of it First and foremost, <clears throat> a lot of people don't even understand what their parents do. True? <laughs> you get That's true. Your parents just wake up, they're like, okay, cool, I go to this, they run this, what, what, what. Because African parents generally don't trust their kids with their family. Mm. They're, they're not their family, their money matters. Finances, true? Mm. Right? Indians, you're 11, you're already yeah. an apprentice Inside. of yeah. sorts, right? Me, you've come, you've died. Yeah. The fuck do I know about what property you have? True. Mm. That's another thing. You get. Maybe I don't want houses in Madare. Mm. It's not in my plan. Mm. You get. Yeah. So all, all of the these bigger ones I'll keep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you get. You know, it's just one of those mm. things cuz honestly, if we were just honest and you just sit with your pops or your moms and yeah. you say, "By the way, this ain't my shit." Yeah. Like me and my mom, we flex about buying land. Right. My mom is always like, you have to buy land. I'm right, like, right. what the Why? fuck do I need 20 acres for? Fam, you know what's crazy? And this is something that's just come to me. When my grandmother passed away, we found some land in a particular place. Yeah. yeah. Guys were like, yeah, we don't want that. Yeah. Because the, the struggle of getting the land <laughs> yeah. back you get is from where it's too hectic. Yeah. yeah. You see, like for me, I look at it in terms of like, cool, let me look at the money market or invest in this and that. I mean, you know, the assets that are making sense. Right. Land for me is dope. Yes. Yeah. But honestly, right. 10 acres. Right. Then... Yeah, you I get. Know, I get that. So yeah, there's so many, there's so many angles to it, and I think there's, it's, there's not an answer that is yeah, yeah. super subjective mm, and yeah, the yeah. answer. Mm. But I just feel like I think it's about time ask us to have conversations with our parents. Right. Sure. Like for me and my mom, Wagwan, we, we're not talking at the moment. Yeah, I imagine. Why? <laughs> well, she told you buy land, and you said no. <laughs> Do you want to go into it, or can I just throw a spanner? In the pad, because I got something I want to. We're here now, Calvin. Might as well. Why are you not talking to your mom? Might as well. (sighs) (laughs) Oh yeah. Before she goes and you know talks to the mumsy later on, huh? Uh, Don't don't let me have to ask her. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I'll tell you guys. I'll tell tell, tell you guys off. I'll tell you guys. I'll tell you guys off, Mike. But essentially, my mom has refused to apologize to me. It's been what? like a week plus. So no, you're not talking to wait, your mom because she's stop. refused. No, to bro, bro, bro. I told my, my mom, my mom overstepped something. Okay. And I was like, no, 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 no. That oh, was not wait. correct. We need to have these conversations wait, about parenting. But, mm. but, no, I, 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 I you're right. Mm. What do you mean you're waiting for your mom to apologize? Yo. That's your mom, bro. No, 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 no. She your sent mom me, has she, the right. She overstepped and sent me a message at 4 a.m. I'm waking up. I'm like, what? The, but you see, I, that's your I, fault. I was like, okay, I call her. That's I'm like, mom, fault. you gotta apologize. No, but that's, you know what? That's your fault. What? You woke up and looked at your phone immediately. <laughs> you, <laughs> no, the time. Like I'm saying to you, like I'm telling you, you should, if you if you had read that message at 9 a.m. or 8 a.m. when you're doing your show, it would have taken Bro, a different thing. I, I 
I was I, I read the message, I took a shower, got on the in the car, drove, come. I'm doing the show. I'm like, what the fuck was that? So I call her up. I'm like, you're up, eh? I was like, yo, yeah, we need to talk man. about this. Whoa. No, what, what's, what's the longest you've gone without talking to your mom because you're mad at her? One week? Yeah, th- no, no, no. We out? haven't spoken since I think last week, Tuesday. Has she yeah. tried to reach out? Bro, I tried to call her last week, Thursday, because I was leaving the country. I'm like, yo, what go on? Did you, you still want to fucking talk to me? She, I, I call her, I'm like, so mom, are you going to apologize? She's like, I'll call you back. It's because because of all you're, you're carrying out the conversation. No, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't even. You call your mom no. and ask her you gonna. No, 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 no. If, if I were your mom, I'm hanging up on you. I don't care if you're my blood. No, I'm a, hanging up on your ass, was, bro. It wasn't the fucking tone. Did are you, you gonna ask apologize? Her, did you ask her why? I didn't, why, uh, I didn't why say. I didn't yeah. ask her. Are you gonna? Not in that tone. Okay. But we were having a convo, and I was like, Mom, you know, you still have to apologize. So you're trying to teach your mom a lesson? No, it's just because, honestly, <laughs> she did. Before can, you, G- can you put that camera on me? Because I'm just shocked. Absolutely. <laughs> what? Yeah. No, but I do get you because these days after high school, I went for almost three months without talking to my mom and we live in the same house. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Who are you people? No, 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 Z. Because this is the thing. Do you yeah. know... The people who are closest to you, they're going to cost you the most pain in this yes. life because of the level of vulnerability, right? I Can just I want a fucking wait, apology, that's stop. all. Stop. I am absolutely disgusted. No, you're not. <laughs> I'm disgusted. Gee, you, you block people on social media like it's nothing. You that's not my be like, <laughs> Gee, be like, I don't talk to that nigga anymore. Wait, yeah. listen, you say, that's you not stop, my mama. to exist. Stop. You know, it's so that's fucking... Your mom. No, it's so, it's so fucking... Like, I, I can't and? use the word petty. But, say this. but you know what's fucking crazy? <laughs> shut the fuck up. Shut up. All of you shut up. Your Calvin. Shut up. All if of I were you, you, I'd go straight you? home to my mom shut after up, this. Shut up. Stop. Before G gets home. What the fuck? As in, you know what? What in the Gen Z nonsense <laughs> is this? Gen okay, Z, but what? for real, for real, that's uh, you have to set boundaries with your yeah. parents. Yeah. Hey. Respectfully, I, I, yeah, respectfully. I agree. I, not I agree. Respectfully. I, I fucking agree. Set, wait. No, let me tell you. When I wish you think I'm so cool with my I wish folks? children on you, bro. No, when do you think I'm so cool with my folks? Because we set boundaries with each other. Yo, they okay. know if I if I if I don't do this, if if I do this, okay. Let's reset. Are you listening to these Set boundaries with your parents. Don't be disrespectful. No. The you know. Bible says, <laughs> honor thy mother and thy father so that thy days may be long on the land okay. that the Lord thy so, God okay. no, no, wait, wait, no, wait, no, 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 no. It's a commandment. Then go honor your father right now. My father? <laughs> What the fuck? Exactly. No, no, no. That's to a break. low blow. No, it's, it's not a low, low blow. To break blow. up the point. Like, you see the relationship no, you no, have. Even, know, my, even no. my daughter's Stop. calling me. Let me tell her I'll call Stop. her back. Jojo. Hello? That's the same thing. Mommy, money. I'll call you back after. Let That's me, I'm the recording the podcast. You, your mom says Yeah, you. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Let me record the podcast oh, first. Okay? coming back through the door. Look at that. You <laughs> see. That's you see. Hello? quick. You want what? Wait, so you said you're going to talk to her later. I want to revive. Okay, study. Then I'll call you then, okay? Dad. Yeah. Have you you see? called me a witch. Oh. Who called? <laughs> <laughs> the team. The team. Baby, I'll call you back. The I'll call team. you back and we can discuss this. <laughs> he said who? The team. Okay. Calvin, we're, so, <laughs> we're, we're showing up to Wait, school tomorrow. Stop. Someone called Jojo a witch. I have Who women issues. Her a witch? <laughs> <laughs> she said, I'm be. Uh, what is she not to be called a witch? Stop. Oh Stop. my God. Wow. Your kid's it's drama is the one. Wow. So, Abby, if you're watching, <laughs> you called Jojo a witch. Shame on you. Abby, God, God, oh, okay. Let's get back to this, right? Oh. Fam, you know, I understand there's going to be moments when you're, you know, as you know, you have issues with your parents, it's what they do. I mean, for me, there were days when my grandmother would say things to me or had said things to me that were really hurtful. Mm. Yeah, I get it, right? So I understand what you're trying to say, but but see, they're your parents. Oh, and wait, no. wait, can I let me finish? Mm. So I'm saying, like, I'm not speaking to my mom because she refused to apologize. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> You too. Oh. You, but you know, you don't know what happened. I don't you care. don't know. You, and that's the problem. 
Because you don't care. You don't care about the parameters that went around this result. I understand boundaries, and I know that everyone in the in the um thank you in the comments right now are like. Mm. That nigga old. <laughs> no, my thing is this. So you've, let me you've, let me you've tell you. Let me let me, let me let me let me tell I've you. So so, 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 so what happened is this, right? Mm. So I, I keep telling my daughter's mom, listen, talk to me. Mm. Don't ever fucking go directly to my mom. So she talks directly to my mom. My mom doesn't have a conversation with me. Mm. My mom assumes sends me a message. I'm like, what the actual fuck are you doing? So are you mad at? No, you see, my thing is this, right? Yeah. You're my mom. Yeah. Reach out to me and talk to me. Uh huh. You get. Uh huh. But more importantly, mm. my daughter's mom doesn't have the moral authority to reach out to my mom like that. Because do I go talking to her mother and father just like that? But that's you. Yeah, that's me. But that shit upset me, and I was mm. just like, because mm. this is the second time I told my mom, mm. listen, let's get this <laughs> twisted. Let's not get this twisted. Boundaries. Okay. You understand? Okay. So for me, I was just like, why are we doing this? So the issue is with maybe the communication between Jojo's mom exactly. and your mom. Exactly. Mm. Can you blame your mom? You and your mom? No, no, no. But you see... Do you know what? Do you know what? This, this is very interesting. This is the second time this week that I've heard the conversation where the, the, child, the child's mom still interacts with the child's... Grandma. The, grandma yeah. grandma on, on mm. the dad's side. Mm. Even though the, there is no real like relationship there, mm. hmm. okay. you get like for me, yeah. I don't have an issue with it, right? Mm. Okay, but we're not parenting with my mom mm. like that. You get mm. okay, like you understand. Right, I give you a pass. I hear you. Yeah, yeah. I give you like a little I was pass. Just like, <laughs> nice you can you, can like you, that can you blame your mom though if the interaction didn't yeah. come from her? Yeah, if she was the one who was being. If the, okay, if the communication came from now, um, your daughter's Jojo's mom. mom. Yeah. No, like no. we'd already spoken about this particular matter. Mm. It was done, resolved, all of it. you expressed how you felt about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And mm. then my mom, I'm like, so really? She, oh, she reached out to her. Yeah. No, so basically, oh, okay, I get it. You. I get it. No, I yeah. get it. Oh, that's sticky. Yeah. Okay. That, I was no. just like, yeah, okay, you know what? Just this one time only. We'll give you a pass. <laughs> yeah. And you know, really time just only. Like, and you know, and you know, and you know no. now, now what's even more <laughs> fucked up is like mm. yesterday on the family group, my family's like, yo, um, Stayed house, send the pictures. Oh my god, everyone's excited. My mom didn't say a single word As because should. you're not speaking to each other. God As damn, should. yo, nigga, don't hey. you see when, when a babe who's dating someone posts a photo? You never see the man <laughs> in the comment section. You never. <laughs> It's everybody oh, wow. else who wants you. Your mom can't shouting. like your picture. Damn. Yeah, I can't be there because I yo. Fam, we have right, it right now. Right now, if you go into your mom's IG, she's got a post up. She's on a hill in the <laughs> I'm living my best life. Let you know, you know what's even <laughs> negativity to the back. What's even what's so this Not happened bad vibes. so this happened Tuesday, right? Yeah. So my old lady tells me, yo, there's there's I need to buy some Mabati. She's like, yo, could you swing me like 50 grand or something? I'm like, cool. I hit you back about it. Bro, that story. Dallas. <laughs> No, I'm not. I, I will give her. But me, I'm just like... You're waiting for her to ask again? No, I'm not waiting. <laughs> me, you're, you're using it as a power move. No, 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 no. It's not a power move. Mm. I will. Mm. I've already committed. I'm a man of my word. Mm. But me, I want my fucking apology. So Simple. until you get your using apology... This as leverage? Yeah, until I get my apology, I'm not fucking... Oh, don't you say when I get another nigga to give her the 50 grand? Oh. Fun. Because it's funny because she asked me... Like Z, yeah. <laughs> No, like no, but, but don't do you do you do you family watch this podcast? I guess you don't care. Me, I don't care no more, man. So, me, I, I, me, I diss them enough. like on the family WhatsApp group. Yo, my cousin, listen, I think this is what I'm talking about. My family, my uncle sent me a message. Is like, yo, we need to go see your cousin, uh, in in Nakuru next weekend. I'm like, cool. I'm down for a drive. Then I ask him. I tell him, oh, you don't know he came back to Nairobi. I'm like, you guys don't discuss this kind of things on your VIP group because wow. they've got a siblings group. <laughs> wow. You call it VIP group. <laughs> yeah, VIP group. Because it's not involved. By the way, you, you know what? You like, get into this group. <laughs> you know what? By the way, let me tell you, the worst thing ever is WhatsApp groups. Yeah. I mean, yeah, apart from fine. ours, which we do our, our stuff, those are cool. But fam, I have <laughs> to leave the WhatsApp group where I live. Mm -hmm. Them <laughs> niggas are always complaining. A lot. Man, like, you know what? The last straw was like, you know what? It's not that I'm making noise. It's that the construction material used in this apartment. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's substandard. Wow. 
<laughs> Yo, I need to move in. <laughs> They Bro. said it's not my fault they built this building with thin walls. Oh, man. <laughs> or you can choose not to listen to me. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> anyway, Simply. before the yeah, time is running, fam, uh, I want to ask a question. And like, imagine. Yeah. Oh, that's the whole pot? That's literally the whole pot. <laughs> ah, you've got to be kidding. I want to ask a question, right? And this is a tweet which I saw yesterday, day before yesterday. Um, it's from someone in Nigeria. So let me give you the backstory. There's a, a, a man... Uh-huh. Who found a baby, like a street kid. Mm. The street kid was just there. She was all calloused, had been in the streets for a while, hadn't eaten, right? And it's a man. He's twenty-seven years old, so he found this <coughs> this this kid, and n- took it to the hospital, took it to a police station. Nobody's, you know, nobody wants the responsibility. So he's raised this child. The child is now like two, three years old, looking the bundle of health. Oh. Do you know what I mean? And he's a very sharp guy. He's like educated he's 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 not rich but he's doing his thing mm. fam so basically and then he did an interview with bbc africa and he's speaking pigeon and he's like ah she not go one for she, she not one for nothing she's gonna do her master's or phd and he's really invested in mm. raising this child you know <clears throat> so the story was on bbc um bbc um africa, africa. right a woman commented and said, thank God for him. I'm sure the poor guy is not on Twitter because I know the kind of negativity his fellow men would have taught him on this app. <laughs> right? Oh. Mm-hmm. Now, obviously, that tweet has blew apart Nigerian Twitter. Mm. So basically, somebody responded, no, he is on Twitter and then tags him in. And then the same woman says, maybe he just joined or is not active because the young men we have on this app with what we see them say, of course, men have now jumped in. You need to try and control your negative self a bit. He did something worth celebrating. I hope a whole community supports him. Um, then another man is generalization is a very bad thing. Why not just commend the guy's good work and move on? Then it's like, well, they start chatting him pigeon there. Then it's like, um, your silly caption was not enough to ruin this beautiful video. As in your captain, your caption, like basically men are la- laying into her. Mm. And it made me think, right? Is there something that we don't know as men? Meaning that that's a beautiful story. <clears throat> Why do you think she felt the need to bring in other bands on Twitter into what was just a beautiful story? What like is there something is there something that that we are missing here. Nah, it's... You, you know about the observer's effect? No, tell me about that. Like, when, say you're driving, uh-huh. s- uh, straight road, and you focus somewhere else. Right. You're gonna drive in the direction that you're focusing on. Right. Because here's a guy who's done an amazing thing. Mm. Now, we know that on this road, there's a possi- If you're not careful and you get distracted, you can crash... Maybe in a ditch, because that's where your attention mm. was. Trying to avoid this ditch, you focused on the ditch. Mm. And guess where you ended up? In, in the, the ditch. ditch. In the right. When you're skiing in the forest, mm. and you're like, I have to hit. You know, I, I don't I have to hit a tree. I don't want to yeah. hit mm. a tree. So miss a tree, miss a tree. You're only going to focus on the... And guess what you're going to hit? A tree. tree. A tree, But okay. if you focus on the actual path, you're going to find the path. Right. Mm. So he's a woman who knows how the internet works, because... I'm sure had this post gone on Twitter, not maybe not to uh, say it's the man only mm. who do that, but tweets generally, yeah. right. you'd find a few characters saying a couple of negative things. That's like that's why, why you raise the child. That's a that's girl's job. Yeah. yeah, that's that's a constant. But now, mm. for the very basic reason of her bringing in the perspective of the negative and how we missed it. Mm. Now she brought in the negative into the situation. Now the negative has to be addressed. Mm. So that's you the think, only issue. So you're saying that basically mm. she's bringing her own observation as in like maybe her life is negative on a negative path and that's the only lens that she could see that perspective. Yeah. Oh, I, I feel that like... Or she, yeah, she could have been projecting. But mm. also, if, if we haven't had this, why, why should we have someone to remind us that this was very... Um, this was a potential situation, mm. and I'm applauding you guys for behaving. 
That's right. that's what she's doing. She's patronizing people on Twitter. Right. I'm, I'm proud of you guys for not, you know, getting doing. into this guy for this and that. Right. How do you think guys are gonna react to that? G, you you you're about to wash the dishes, and then I come and tell you, wash the, go wash the dishes. Are you gonna wash those dishes? No, <laughs> you're not gonna wash those dishes, bro. Huh? No, no, no. It's, it's maybe it's, he has a dishwasher. No, it's an ana- <laughs> don't overthink it. It's it's an analogy. analogy right. It's like when you are doing something or you already about to, do about to. You yeah, yeah, right. To it, right? You don't need any commentary as mm. to what would have happened had you not done this. Right. But now once you introduce that, you've brought in the negative to everything that was working right. perfectly. I I get it. But imagine at times in life some answers are so simple. Mm. One thing I've come to realize about life, this is like a marketplace. There's good sellers, there's bad sellers, there's madmen. Mm. And mm. women right yeah at times you don't have to respond to everything and at times people will have so much shit to say Always at times have. you can mm. just go through a comment and be like hmm, and just move on true because mm. bro the guy's done such a noble thing mm. life mm. is continuing through this young lady mm. and you know she probably does didn't even need to know all of that mm. at this tender age you get like this mm. bullying that happens on social media mm. every day. So someone picks it up or sees, oh, this is the dad. Mm. Or in school, <laughs> you don't even, you don't even have parents. No kids. Are, like you just had my daughter mm. been saying she's been called a witch. <laughs> right, right. You get. I, d- yeah. I just, I just found yeah. that I found that lens that she presented from to just be so weird because it's something that wouldn't even. T- yeah, like it's like it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't even cross my 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 radar. You, get you know, you know, you know, it's like her. it's like back in the day, back in the day mm, I mean, when we had because that's a human interest story, mm. right. right? Human interest stories are a big part of like you know editorial, mm. right? You get. At times you just used to read back in the day and you're like, oh, that's a good story. And mm. move on. And move on. Yeah. Or if you had any comments, it was bouncing from here to here. Mm. Now everyone on social media always has something to say. Everybody like the other day, thing, yeah. I was reading the comments and someone said, I feel like Calvin forces his jokes. Mm. I, was, I read that shit. I was like, liked that shit. Mm. That, that's their opinion. Yeah. That's their opinion. What you're saying. I, I can't side with her because mm. it is... Um, a negative on top of a, po- a, a negative on top of a it's positive. Like a ba- backhanded or, yeah, it's yeah. backhanded, and mm. also um, that comment of someone saying you can't generalize mm. is very valid. Because why mm. would you expect this person, um, or other? You've basically said every man on Twitter is shit. Is shit. Yep. Is an asshole. Is not. You know. Mm. You you've completely disregarded anybody else. So if anybody else on Twitter does something nice, you'd be like, they've clearly not been here. Exactly what she said. You've clearly not been here for a while. Or basically, she said nobody mm. good exists on Twitter. Right. Yeah. If the same thing happened to a woman, it would have equally gone up in flames. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Bonus. know. And it's the same way we always say Twitter is not a real place. And I don't think she's taken that literally. Maybe it's because mm. of her own experiences. Maybe she's yep, gotten yep. men who have really, you know, fucked her up. Been and toxic. Yeah, yeah. been but toxic. And it's from a Twitter perspective. Maybe just her algorithm so, is that fucked up that she just sees so, so many men talking about shit, but not equally women. Because women and men generally on Twitter. So she's more or less she's projecting. It is projecting. Yeah. yeah. Right. Like I saw someone the other day tweet out, <clears throat> which I was like, hallelujah, this is so dope. Someone said, woman. Listen, I'm not your ex boyfriend who hurt you. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't Don't project this. that yeah. shit. It yeah. is projecting. Right. Because right. equally, same thing would have happened if it was a woman, same mm. thing would have happened if it's a male, which in, ca- in this case it is. If she just praised the guy and left it at that, yeah. imagine we wouldn't be having this conversation. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's, um, thank you for, 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 I got another thing I wanna, I wanna put to you guys. Protecting your peace. Mm. I saw this tweet again, and the tweet says, when you're blocked by someone you've never engaged with, it means they saw your tweets and thought, I never want to see this shit again. I've done that. <laughs> I've done, done that. Before? Yeah. I, 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 there's some I things have. I see people tweeting mm. and I'm like, you know what? I don't want to see more of this on my TL. So you block them immediately. I block you. We don't, do, do you we do don't have an interaction. We don't really. have a relationship. Nothing. Fam, if I, if I see you say something, even if something appears on my timeline, and it's such a bad thing. Like, even if you didn't at me, or it's nothing to do with me. It's nothing. It's just a humanity bad thing. I'm blocking. I'm blocking you because mm. I never want to see your shit again. There are people who who have had to unblock 
but I didn't have to unblock them. Who were unblocked, and they've said to me, "But gee, I don't know you. Why have you blocked me?" I said, "You must have tweeted some stupid shit mm. on your mm. timeline that I never wanted to see again." And I always say this: I'm also not above blocking. If you blocking me brings you peace, by Go all ahead. means, block me. Block me, bro. Yeah, it's it's not gonna have any effect on litmus paper. Yeah. So if I see you tweeting, and this, con- I think we've had this conversation before, either on this pod or I don't remember where exactly, but it goes even as far as as a guy mm. when I'm taking out a babe that I am interested in. You see, when you're employing or when you're about to employ someone, you go through their social media, right? Mm-hmm. I, I do the same thing. Like, and I've said this before, if all your posts are just attacking men or it's just mm. toxicity or you're always going through something, you you have this victim mentality, imagine that's a wrap. Oh, yeah. It's a wrap. Mm. You tweet just, your IG posts, your stories and everything. We get to see... What do you really think about? What, where are you at mm. mentally, mentally, emotionally, and everything? Mm. Okay. I, I don't have an answer to that. I want to spin something. And I tweeted this earlier. <clears throat> Yo, why the fuck are 35 year olds throwing themed parties? Is this like a, <laughs> is this like a bloody, is this like, is this like, I've got a question, guys. Is this like, is this people being late for sweet 16 and sweet 18 or what? Wow. Maybe when let they were young, prosper. they didn't have parties. Yeah, let them prosper. Bro, like themes and every everything. week. Well, here, well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. My thing about I'm it just is, asking a question. I'm no, not no, 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 no. I get it. I, I get just, it. I actually just thought about it in the house as I was walking. I was like, "Huh, sweet sixteen MTV." You know, you're not talking about Georgie. Uh, but but <laughs> Georgie's my <laughs> homie, man. Yeah, I know. So yeah. we're not talking about Georgie. This oh, is why our friends want oh, to include us in their own thing. Oh, Wangwe. Bring it to the both of the, both of them <laughs> man there send send invites. But did you go? Tell no, none of them. But you invited both. Yeah. Hey, hey, so wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. so here's the here's the reason. Wait. Here's the wait, re- wait, Calvin. Uh, wait. Georgie and Wangwe invited you to their parties. Swear down. Wait. You didn't go, yeah. But you've chosen to cover the podcast. To ask about about the hey. You know, I'm not trashing them. They're my homies. One way, I was out of the country. Georgie, you're just wondering what going with yo, the frequency. So, thing. Georgie, I was out of the country. I was out of the um, yeah. I was out of town. Yeah, Same. Um, one way, I was in town, okay. but I wouldn't have gone anyway. But here's here's my thing, Georgie's. I wouldn't have gone. Like he's my, I love him. He's he's a dope guy and everything. Mm. But bro, it was I'm not. I'm, party. I'm just not trying to bump into like some babes. <laughs> right. Okay. So, so is this so about the so parties about you. or is this you know, about bumping into? You, do. you know, it's no. About the do you know how many? <laughs> let me tell you. There's there's enough homies who Joji so sent. Joji, jo- I believe if Joji called like a men's class mm. and asked, so homies, why didn't you show up to my party? Yes. Guys will be like, same oh thing Calvin said. <laughs> you understand? Like it's just one of those things. Okay, I can't what be, is Joji gonna do? No, you get it. You see how you go, you Joji. I get Which it. is a Beba fucking Oti. truth. Because, because Nairobi is so small. Yeah. There are some people you wouldn't want to see. I yeah, exactly. It. Um, For me, it's slightly different. I guess it, it's, it's different, but it's the same. It's just that, I don't know. I just wouldn't have gone. I, it's, not, it's not me. Yeah, man. So you have nothing against themed parties? I don't. Okay. But here's the thing. Can yeah, we talk yeah, about so the have, ones? Do you have a problem with the people who go to themed parties? No, really. Okay. But so can right. we talk about this ones for color Happy coordination? I, I, I figured that's mm. the one you're going what? to. Where Which guys one? come in, they the tell f- you wear pink, wear yellow, then you come in with um, a pink outfit <laughs> and like a tray with a pink drink and or like a yellow drink. I've been seeing the trends on TikTok. Them lot. Them lot. and them did it. Mm, the oh yeah, the picnic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but here's the thing, bro. Are those people are dying at those things, right? <laughs> what, what do you mean? <laughs> like, if I choose the pink, of the- if I choose pink, what the fuck am I eating? Pussy at the thing? Do you know? What? I, ah! think, I think. I do you know what? I'm gonna be hey, honest with be you. That would be a dope title. I think I think it's deeper than that. I think that oh, I think it's like gee, if you said we're throwing a gra- your your colors green, mm. what green drink are you bringing? Jabba juice. No, aloe vera. <laughs> no, no. My thing is this: What green plants are you? Do you know what? I'm, 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 let me throw the cat amongst the pigeons. I think that some of the people who you don't go to their parties or you wouldn't go to theme parties because you're not actually really friends with them. That's the truth. Mm-hmm. I mean, honestly, like you say, George is your your whole boy. I've known George for 12, mm. 12 odd years. But it, he's not my homie. We don't hang out. We just, yeah. I know him and like George Wagban. I don't know his birthday. I don't know. What, I, I know what he does for a living. I respect him. So much respect for him. Mm. And it's all love. But 
You so you're gonna say, yeah, my man took Wanga time. Wanga is different. I've yeah, known yeah. him for a while. Yeah. I would have gone to his, but mm. I was just having a weekend of self care. I was home mm. for the entire weekend, mm. so I just, I wasn't gonna break my Routine. solitude for, yeah. for for that. Mm. So the point I'm the thing about it is, it's like end of the day, it's like you're either in or you're not in. So end of the day, mm. if you threw a party. Or you for a party, or you for a party, or any of the, you, you know, know. No, but I'm saying, yeah. And I didn't go. I reckon that you you have a right to say you're full of shit. Yep. Because nah, we're, I wouldn't. No, oh, yeah. I know you wouldn't. No, 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 no. Like, 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 me, like, if you, if you invite yeah, you a party, even if you didn't show up at I my party, even after yeah, yeah, meeting, I we've had enough. Offense. We've had enough. No, but the thing is, but if you should know, but if you show, you understand the importance of me inviting you, and I'd know you not showing up. Has nothing to do with me. You have your own reasons right. as to why and, you didn't show up. And I, w- I would, I feel comfortable enough to say to any of you, you know, what, Andy, I'm not gonna make it to yeah, your party communicate. because mm. it's just not my vibe, and it's what it is. And we move on as friends. But so, also, yeah, I mean, I mean, just just to throw it out there, I think if I threw a party and you came in that shirt, I'm shutting the door. And- <laughs> wow. wow. For, and you know, what, and but oh, this, no. but this also goes for brands as well. Yeah. Fam, yeah. yeah by brand, the way, yeah. a brand invited me to a party tomorrow. The fuck? So you could take pictures and say G Money was there. Was there. there. Mm. Oh, yeah. Man. Are you getting paid? No. Oh, that one. Oh. That, that one. one. Yeah. Really? How dare you? Uh, uh, I, I, I you're not a socialite? If, listen, no, I, I you, you, you they invited guys who, for that. who they've opened the check for. Yeah, you invite, yeah. invite the people who have, who have ah. paid. You, you get, but me. yeah, come on now. Yeah. Nothing yeah. for free. I <laughs> would, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> even, <laughs> this, <laughs> even when this whole Fenty thing blew up, yeah. I was like, I'm so glad I'm the way I am because I was invited. You think I'm going to fucking go out my way to go to Hold up, they invited you for fucking Fenty. No. They invited you for fucking, no, no. Why the fuck would they invite you for Fenty? Uh, uh, Hold on, you know let, people, let me show you. No, <laughs> you Kag- know people. Kagwe Mungay and them send that shit to you. Fam, you're exclude. Look, you're, look. Are you invited? You're exclusively invited to Fenty Club. Happy Fenty Day! Oh yeah, by oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 You why, go for why would I go? Ah. I'm just no. So, so listen, wait a minute. Yeah. You, you know why I'm feeling yeah. mildly offended? Yeah. They invited you for fucking they Fenty. Didn't Actually, you. you didn't get an invite. The fuck is that? You should have replied to that email and been like, I am not your fucking target audience. No. How about no. you invite Ashley? No, but if, so if, Rihanna, if Rihanna invited you, you wouldn't go? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm Tim Beyonce, like, God damn it. Yeah. I tell Rihanda like, but, I mean, I'm I'm sorry. Yeah. But the point I'm saying is this. The point I'm saying is this. Why have you invited me? You've invited me because of my social capital. Yeah. Mm. It's as simple as that. Yeah. You've invited me so that when you do your press, when you walk into the venue, there's going to be a big press wall. Hey, G, can you take a picture? No. I'm not getting a check, so why would I go? It's just like I'm that. I'm sorry, like, at the end of the day, like, mm. I don't care what anyone says. Fam, I've been in the industry for, what, 20 odd years. Mm. I know my value. I know what my presence means. Mm. So I'm going to this. I'm going to any of these brand events, and I'm not being paid for why. Mm. That's why when I go out to clubs and people are trying to, and I'm DJing, I can be DJing any brand. But if the photographer comes to the DJ booth to take a picture, and there's branding behind me, I said, don't take a picture. Mm. Don't yeah. take it. You're you not taking a picture. Do. You're not taking a picture with a brand mm. behind me. me. That's yeah. not paying me. Mm. Why? Hundred mm. percent. No, I ain't doing. It. I don't. I don't know about anybody else GMs, who might. GMs. But for me. Mm. There is, no, and I'll say it, there is no brand that I'm going to allow to exploit me and my social capital Please. and who I am for free. I'm not doing it. I think we should, I think we should, we should get an invite for the next state house thing. What do you reckon? We should have like a forum for Now, creative. state house. <laughs> it's a different couple No, because we've got a public holiday coming up next yeah. month. State house yeah, is different. Two, two of them. Yeah. Because you know what? <laughs> I feel comfortable at state house. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, are we out of the building? Uh, yeah, man. Do we have time for open mic? No. Let's go. Okay. That o- open mic. Smoke. Let's discuss that on the mini sword. On the mini sword. Because it's a long one. Said that, the other time. No, no, no. But stick a pin in that. I've, I've, I've discovered a thing called Star on WhatsApp. On WhatsApp, yeah. So just yeah. put a star, star in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, also lockdown. Who do we have lockdown. on lockdown? Mm. Darkness. Lockdown? Who do we have on lockdown? We don't know. Jesus. Yeah, but you have Let me, he was texting me earlier. Who's on lockdown? Oh, anyway, forget lockdown. Oh. The wake up call tomorrow morning. With um, a and don't forget, shout out to Hafari. This, by the yeah. way, we're giving you new shit on the channel. There's the wild card mm-hmm. with Venant and Eric, and this week they had Zuma as a mm-hmm. as a guest. Zoom. Yep. There's um, Breaking Hurts with Suki and Hafari, which listen, wild. Hafari is the guy you don't invite to your house. Wild. The first week he dissed me on the first on the first week. 
Hafari, it's great. And yesterday's episode was dope. I feel like Hafari is just like, you know, like an Eric Omondi. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, while you're at it, buy the March um, bottles, t shirts. Um, check it out. The mic's open. The link is on the on yes. the page. So go Ooh. check it out. Fire shit. Oh, sorry. Did I say that? Yeah, you, yeah, did. you did. Did you think you were thinking it? Yeah, wow. you did. Damn. But, <laughs> Look, I guess, but, but you know what? But you know what? I guess he'll survive in Nairobi. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> This will be the mic so but that's a good one. My name is G Money. Really? Ashley. That's a good one. Ah, oh, nigga. Okay, so. I was trying, I to, help, I was trying to say this. <laughs> Ashley. Big C. <laughs> Panda. Panda is back.